Hey what's up and welcome to my first tutorial on this channel. Um, today I wanted to show you how to do a kind of vellum growth effect in Blender. Um, it's an effect that you can see on Instagram that's very popular right now and it's mostly done in Houdini but um, I wanted to show you that this is kind of also possible in Blender. But first of all shout out to Jonas Rowan who was the first to record a tutorial on this. So definitely check out his account too and now let's get started with the tutorial. So this is the scene that I prepared for you. Um, I got an object in the middle and a simple lighting and a force field or two force fields, which I will explain afterwards to you. So I will show you now how it looks. Um, the light, by the way, got a very low spread, spread of 2.8. And yeah, I think this looks very interesting with a little bit of subsurface. I will explain the material afterwards. It's very simple. It's just subsurface with some Voronoi bump texture and, and stuff. Um, but yeah, the thing that you can see now is um, is the object that acts as a proximity indicator, which we of course will hide in the render then. But it's just a scaled down cube on the Y axis that's moving from the left to the right and crossing our object. In this case, I renamed it to alien egg. Don't ask me why. Um, so, so basically what the cube is doing, it gives Blender information on how to change the weight paint on our alien egg based on the um, proximity or the distance to our cube. So what I did now, I tapped into edit modes and I assigned all vertices to a new vertex group. And after that you can go into the modifier section and you will add a vertex weight proximity modifier. So this is basically where all the magic happens. So when you selected your modifier, so in the modifier under vertex group select your vertex group and under target object select your proximity object which in my case is my um, scaled down cube. Then change your proximity mode to geometry and your fall off to smooth. Usually I think it's on linear but just change it to smooth and then go into weight paint again and play around with your lower and higher value in your vector weight proximity modifier. And the uh, values will depend a lot on your dimensions and also on the look that you're going for. Personally I'm going for a look where only a part of my object is transformed into the cloth simulation and then afterwards transformed back in the, into the solid object. So basically what the weight is doing, it tells Blender when to simulate and when to not simulate your cloth physics. So the next step that you will do is add a cloth modifier and my physics properties are, I got 10 quality steps and a very low stiffness because I want it to look turbulent. And the most important step is under shape that you will select your pin group that you just created with the vertex group. So it basically takes the weight paint, which is dynamic and applies the cloth simulation based on it. And what I personally did, I turned the gravity to zero because I wanted it to stay in place. Now, if nothing is happening with your simulation, don't panic because what you have to do now is add a force field. In my case, I added a normal force field with a strength of 1000 and some other values and a turbulence force field with also a high negative strength and some wind factor and a 10 of noise amount. And I'm sure if you play around with the settings a little bit longer, you can achieve much more interesting um, results than me. But I think for the purpose of the video, it's okay. So what you can do now is animate the object how you like it, animate the camera how you like it, and then bake the cloth simulation. And in case of shading, I was going for a for an organic, slimy alien texture. I don't know, it looks like a ball sack, man. But of course, it looks interesting. Um, and for the bump, I added the Voronoi texture and connected it into the normal. And yeah, this is what it looks like, what it turned out. I hope you like it. And don't forget that you can do a lot of more stuff with the um, technique that I showed you. Weight painting is so powerful in Blender and maybe use some mega scan assets to do your work. But if you liked it, just tell me in the comments what I could do next or write me a DM on Instagram and have a nice day.